Here's exactly why you should not start an ad agency in 2024. I've been running ads for eight years. I've had my own ad agency for two years. And here's the bad news. I'm going to break down what they're not going to tell you. And if you want to still continue with building your own ad agency, go for it. But just hear these things and take them into consideration. The first thing is that you're going to need to hire faster than you think. There's not enough time in the day to manage clients and the actual work for a bunch of clients just yourself. At the beginning, you may think you have so much time because you have nothing. You don't have the business yet. You have all the time in the world. All you're doing is pretty much just going to the gym and I would assume doing the outreach. But when you first start, you can do a bunch of the things for the clients, learn, build the processes and the systems. But then after that, you have to hire because there's no way you can do the outreach and everything else of the business, deliver the assets, film, whatever your product is. You need to hire so that you get some help so you can build the processes out and then scale the business. You need to be working on the business while you have someone who's actually working in the business, creating the product for you so that you can deliver to clients. As soon as you start to spread yourself too thin, it is physically impossible to get everything done. I did this for a bit. I did this for about two or three clients doing absolutely everything and it was just not sustainable. There's no way you can scale a business or grow it at all while doing everything yourself. It's physically, it, it's not possible to wear all the hats. At the beginning, you think it's very possible. You think you can do everything. You feel like you're invincible. You just got these clients. It's amazing. But if you don't hire, your business is either going to stay the same or the product is just going to decrease in value. The second thing that's very hard is that you have to balance clients while maintaining outreach. So you have to maintain your current clients. You have to deliver amazing product. You have to constantly be improving and you have to communicate with clients. But on the other hand, you have to acquire a new business. You always have to be growing this business. The agency, you never know. There's definitely churn. It does happen. Not. It doesn't have to be because your product falls off. It decreases in value. It's just because that's just the nature of the business. You know, businesses want to move on to different agencies, try different things out. So you constantly need to be having new business in the door. But the main priority should always be maintaining your current client. They're the ones that are keeping your business afloat. That's the way you're able to eat. So you need to be doing the best work possible for them, constantly improving your product and your assets so that they can improve their business, they can scale, whatever your promises are to them, you need to prioritize those over getting new business. That's why you needed to hire somebody so that you can focus on getting new business, your outreach, and building the actual system and processes to allow you to scale. It's a very big balance. You might have to split up your day between maintaining the clients and then doing the outreach. But the crazy part about this is that when you're doing the outreach and you're fully focused on outreach, client messages might come in for edits, revisions, whatever it is. You need to attend to them first and then everything else comes second. The client always comes first no matter what you're doing. You need to make sure you know that, your team knows that because without them, there is no business. The next thing is that your ads or your product is competing in a very saturated space and that is attention. You're competing for attention with absolutely everybody. You're competing against other ads, their own ads if they're making them internally. I'm just using ads as an example because my product is ads. I deliver ad creatives and you're also competing against everything else that is taking their attention. Whether it's TikTok videos, cat videos, their friend calling them, whatever it is, whatever's going on that takes their attention away while they're on their phone, you're competing against. Don't just think your ads are competing against your own ads. Your ads are competing against every other thing that are on their newsfeed, their phone, that grasps their attention. Your ad needs to stand out or your product needs to stand out and be of such high quality that you achieve success for your clients. If you're selling copywriting, you're also competing for attention. If you're doing drop shipping, if you're selling any type of thing, if you're building stores for people, whatever the services that you're providing, you're competing against so many other things that just capture others' attention. The other thing that you're competing with is every other agency in your space. I'm an ad agency. I'm competing with probably a hundred other ad agencies that do very similar content to what I'm doing. The only way to compete is to make great assets, to make creatives that actually convert. We say we're going to make ads that convert. We're, I talk to clients. They say, is this going to work? I hope it works. If it doesn't work, I can't work. I need these ads to work. I'm going to try my hardest. You need to be implementing current trends and topics into your product so that it still captures the attention. I need to be scrolling on TikTok, reading Twitter, talking to my friends and siblings about what's going on in the world. This term pookie became so popular how can I use that word pookie in an ad? This word riz became so big. How can I use riz in an ad, in my copy, in my headline? How can I use these current terms that everyone can resonate with and understands in these ads to capture more attention? I'm constantly competing with the most trending topic right now to then get my ad to perform, to get these ads to perform for clients, to make sure performance is there, and of course they stay as a client. So back to your agencies competing with other agencies. There's tons of agencies. If you're reaching out to dentist office, if you're reaching out to different restaurants, there's tons of other agencies that are reaching out to these companies trying to get their business as well. How are you going to be different? I saw someone sent me a pitch that was through PayPal. They sent me two cents and they said, got your attention. How can we talk? I would love to set up a call. Saw someone, you know, a request, a Ben Bader mentioned that someone requested him on Venmo or sent him like a hundred bucks or whatever it was. Hey, we'd love to hop on a call. This is just a creative way to reach out to you. And now they're working in business together. The way you should be getting clients, the way you should be competing against other agencies, aside from doing great work, should be competing with other agencies in the most creative way possible. 
your pitch has to be special. You need to have an amazing offer. Just how your ads have an offer for the product, you need to have an offer to make your agency stand out and just sound special. You're competing against also other attention. These founders are working on their business. They're trying to build something themselves. You need to catch them and then explain how you're going to provide more value. I'm sure everyone's doing that. How are you going to be different? The last thing is adapting to the current trends, technology, everything else going on in the world, right? There's constant news. The news cycle is quick. A lot of things happen day to day. I would assume four huge news stories happen per day. The news uses scare tactics. All these memes have something going on for you to pay attention to. There's always a new movie going out. There's constantly things happening. How are you going to stay with these trends, understand what's happening while running your business, maintaining your employees, performing for clients, getting new clients, and then also competing with everybody else, right? You need to be staying on top of everything, constantly be consuming information, not to the point where you're just sitting there scrolling, but you need to be like, you need to have a few minutes on each platform to just understand the lingo, realize how people talk, read Reddit, read how consumers are thinking, what are their complaints about things. If you have a product, if you have a coffee product, read that brand, read what people are saying about that brand on Reddit, see how people are talking. Maybe you can use that in an ad, read the comments, understand people's pain points, how it's benefiting them. There's a reason that there's so much turnaround and churn with agencies. If you don't stay on top of everything and your product isn't constantly evolving and improving, then you're going to get left behind. There's going to be another 18 year old on Twitter that just absolutely obliterates you. Everyone is just coming up and trying to take your spot. How are you going to capture that attention? How are you going to stay ahead of the trends and then continue to perform for your clients? It is a constant battle. I wish somebody told me about these things, but honestly, maybe it was better that no one told me so that I could just go and not to deal with any of the problems and just learn as I go. But that's just how I am. I want to learn as I go. I want to figure problems out on the spot, but this is just a forewarning. If you want to start an ad agency, I hope you watch this video. Send this to a friend who's maybe thinking about starting an ad agency. Just make sure they're aware of what's going to happen if they start it. I'm not trying to deter, you know, competition, but you know, maybe that's kind of a good tactic if I spread this message enough, but I know it's the biggest business model. Iman Godzi talks about it all the time. Ty Lopez, I think that he said that was the best business model to start. And now it's growth operating and something else. So here's exactly what you need to balance. Not necessarily negatives, but just be aware because things are constantly changing. It's the world of social media. It's the world of capturing attention. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to put this out there. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it.